Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I'll show you how you can customize a SmogMog website template. It's really easy to do. And also how you can change the layout of the template, how you can remove the SmogMog branding from the top of the website and how to add a custom web page. Okay, we'll get started. Okay, so from the home page of your website, you want new site template. Click on that and that will take you through to all the templates which are available. They're all free to use with your SmogMog account. And if you're on the free trial, you can try the templates out as well, which is quite good. I'm going to use the arrow design. So I'll preview it and at the top right corner, choose this design and then I'm going to customize the design. Okay, so straight away, you're probably thinking it doesn't quite look like what you hoped it would. Now the background photo or the photo showing is on the background and I'm not quite sure what it must be, maybe the last photo you upload where they pull that from. So to change the photo, you need to click on the background and down to the photo, remove that photo and the type of background you want can either be a photo, a video, a slideshow or you can have no photo at all. You can change the photo for every visit to the home page and choose whether it's from a gallery or from your photos and if you click choose photos that will take you through to where all your photos are stored. Choose a gallery and then choose your photos. Now if there's if your photos are in more than one gallery, if you just click back to the home in the top left corner, that will take you back and you can take a photo from each gallery if you like. But all my photos happen to be in the same gallery. So I'll just select five or six which you want out of this gallery. That one, that one, that one. That's about it. OK, and then cl click Done. OK, so that's the background sorted. Now also on that background photo, you can add a mask. Um, you could have it on the dark, light or use the accent colour of the theme of the website. Now this is more for if you're going to dra drag the content blocks on top of the background photo really um, and you can change the opacity of the mask as well so darken it down but I just want the photo as it is so you can see it now the layout is where we sort the menu out so you better click in the entire site back to layout and then where it says fixed, change it to stretchy and that will stretch out the background. Fixed is quite boxed and stretchy is full width. Back to the home page. And there we go. That sorted that problem out. So hit done. Publish now. And there we go. It's much better. Okay, so if we click somewhere else on the website and then click back to the home page. There you can see the photos changed. So each time anybody visits your home page, there'll be a different image depending how many you've got in there. Now, if we take a look at the header in a different browser, we've got the SmugMug branding across there. That's really easy to remove. So if we put that down, we click Customize again in the top right corner. And now we want template settings, smug mug header off. That's it, it's as simple as that. Leave the footer on, or oh, you can take it off. Save, done, publish now. Now if we take a look in a different browser again, refresh, there you go, it's gone. Let's just have a look at it in the wire, big screen. There you go, it's completely clear, which is better. OK, so I'll just show you how easy it is to create a new page and how to add it 
into the menu as well. So if we go organize on the top bar, that will take you back again to where all your photos are stored, but also all your pages and folders are here too. And you need the photo home site. You need to have clicked on that and above it, create. Now you can either create a new gallery, a folder, or a web page. So if you click web page, you'll get a choice of almost template pages. So you've got an about me, a custom page, which you can completely design yourself, a portfolio, there's templates to make it easier. All you've got to do is drag photos onto those or choose photos and pricing page. And if we look at the about me, which is what we're going to create, we could choose one of those profile vertical but what I'll show you how to do is a custom page start from scratch so hit next now if it gives you a page a title so because we're doing about me we'll just put about and then security and sharing you could have it unlisted on a link or private just you but as we want it on the website we need it public so everybody can see it and hit create now that's your page and what you need to do is click content and you add content blocks to the page so you can add galleries folders and pages which you've already got photos single photo multiple slideshow the carousel everything what you'll need to put onto your page to design your page is down here for the win the content blocks text title and you can see the social you just click on the plus now if we drag a single photo onto the page now where the arrows are just drop the content block now where it says photo in the box just click on the box and that will take you back to your storage area again and you can choose your gallery where you would like to choose the photo from this is just a single photo so one photo hit done and the photos there you have a choice of settings what you'd like to happen with the photo go to URL I want none um, and I can change the aspect ratio so it's sort of like a thin header really now where the about is up there if you click the wrench icon it's actually a breadcrumb you can remove the breadcrumb if you change some of these settings and click done you'll just be left with the little house at the top now if you click the bin you can remove the content block which is what I'm going to do you can leave yours on it's up to you how you want to do it now We've got the move tool there and that's for the dimensions of your content block you can change any of those now if we just change the top margin to say 30 pixels if you look at the top of the photo it just nudges it down a little bit and click done the little wrench icon will take you back again to the settings of your photo or whatever your content block is so we'll cancel that and then obviously if you hit the bin you can remove the content delete it and that move tool I'll just show you there's not a lot to move around on the page but you can move it around so if we hit the plus what's just sticking out at the right that will bring back the customized panel and then if we add a text block you see that just drop it where the arrows letting you drop there you can add some text to your page I'll just show you do it really quickly just a little bit I mean you can add as much writing or text to the page as you like and then you can change to header one two three whichever and change the size of the text align it how you like so just make it 20 make it bigger click done so you can add your text there you go now if you get them forget the move tool again I'll just show you now we've got a few more bits here you could drop the text up there or we can move it to the side drop it there you can sort of plan your page how you like I mean this is just an example to show you what you can do okay so if we hit the plus button again to bring out the customized panel and we'll add a button 
And to do that, we need navigation and there's a button there. So we bring the button onto the page where the green line and the arrow is. There we go now. You can label the button whatever you like. We'll just put get in touch to book a photo shoot. Okay, and you can change the size from small to large. Solid, you could just have an outline. Then if we change the colour, you can have just the default colour or change it to the accent colour, which is usually a brighter colour. Change it back to solid so you can see. There you go. Change that back to default. You could uh, align centre, left or right. And then link to. And we're going to link this to the contact form. You can have a custom URL. So that's the contact form linked in that button. Now, just have a look. So I'll just show you how to add this page into the navigation menu. So if you click the wrench icon, they're the basic settings for this menu, and these are all the links. So if you hit the plus sign, now you can name the link whatever you like and then choose page this will take you back again to your storage area where the page is click on the about page click done click done oh hang on we just need to move the link because it's sat at the bottom of the menu at the moment so we just drag it up to where we want it in the menu and if you want it as a drop drop down link you can just nest it in but I don't so we'll leave it there hit done top right hit done again and then publish now and that's your page if you click the home page and click back onto the link there that's your well, start of your page and you can just keep going back and you can edit and add whatever else you want to it but it's just an example of how easy it is to create a page okay i hope that was helpful and it's helped with any problems which you might have come across you can try smug mug free for 14 days and also in the link below and on my website if you click through on any of those links you'll get a discount on any new account with smug mug okay thanks for watching